two, one, zero. This liftoff is how a payload normally gets to space. Huge and expensive launches. But this team. Keep going. That's good. Wants to blow that idea sky high. Vector's primary goal is to develop an operational small launch vehicle. Smaller, cheaper launches would make space more accessible for things like weather monitoring. And it could be one step closer if today goes well. We're going to do what we call an external hot fire test, and it's going to light the engine up. This fledgling rocket company is just starting to take off. But for Vector co-founder John Garvey, it's been a long wait. I can remember when I was nine years old watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon. So I'm, I'm one of those baby boomers, late, late baby boomers. That hooked me. Hooked him for life. When you do get to do one of these and you get into that terminal count, and you're doing the last 10 seconds, and you're down to the three, two, one, zero, and it lights up. That's pretty hard to beat, you know, at least legally, I guess. This test rocket is a bit smaller than the final model, but the worries are just as big. That goes double for ignition, the focus of today's testing. Because that's when everything's happening, and if you don't get that right, that tends to be when stuff goes off nominal or whatever, you, whatever term you want to say. Off nominal or crash and burn is exactly what they're trying to avoid. You're almost ready for the hot igniter test. So preparations are key. Now we're going to get ready to do pressure checks on the vehicle. John and his countdown team will shelter in concrete bunkers for the test, just in case. It's energized, 250, 300. We're at 350 in the tanks. We're uh, topping off at, the, at full pressure. Switching on igniter battery. We are ready for you to arm. If everything goes right, the engine works, puts it in the air at the end. Then a parachute will come out, and then we get the rocket back, and we'll be able to do this again, uh, hopefully up in Alaska in a couple of months. Alaska is the target launch of Vector's final rocket configuration, putting a payload into polar orbit. Just before countdown, John takes a spot. My job is if something looks wrong and the computer's having troubles, I have to operate the manual override. So if everything goes well, I'm not doing anything. But if there's a problem, I've got to react really quickly. And if I get the wrong buttons, I can make the problem worse. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, seven six, 6, 5, five 4, four three, 3, We see Looks like we had a good burn. This broke off. Engine looks good. There might be a couple dents and the skin will knock out. The main thing they want to protect on landing is the engine at the base of the rocket. The idea is you want to land it this way, bash stuff up, the fin breaking off, we can fix that. But ignition and launch went off without a hitch. We'll declare victory. Next, the team will analyze the loads of data they got today and head north for the next phase. We'll be able to do this again, uh, hopefully up in Alaska in a couple of months.